I just tested Trace Solo 3.0 and honestly it is insane. Think of Cursor but with a built-in browser, visual preview, multi-agent collaboration, PRD, Figma to code and native MCP support. Trail literally bring everything into one screen. In this video, we are going to walk through everything that's new. We will explore the refreshed interface, the upgraded features and on top of that we are going to build a fully functional to-do application from scratch. And then we will run automated testing on it using test sprite mcp. So by the end of this video, you will see the complete workflow from development to automated testing. So. To download the tray, just go to the tray.ai, then click on download and install it. Once the installation is complete, launch tray. This is the main dashboard you will see after launching the app. Here you can switch between ID mode and solo mode using the toggle button. Inside solo mode, you will notice two options. One is solo builder and other is solo coder. Earlier, we've only had the solo builder but solo coder is new that is designed for deeper development task, de debugging, refactoring and handling complex update. On the right side, you will find the panels, the editor, browser, diff view, Figma integration, terminal, agents and MCP support. Everything is organized neatly to speed up your workflow. Also, just a quick note, you can upgrade to the pro plan for only $3, which is extremely affordable for unlocking the full power of Tray. So now let's go ahead and create a new project. Today, we will build a complete to-do app to demonstrate how powerful solo coder really is. I will add an empty folder to the workspace. and then switch back to the solo mode now i will use solo builder and as you can see it automatically switches to the max mode i will give a simple initial prompt and then refine it for the best results as you can see, it is refined into detailed prompt. After hitting enter, Trey begins working on the project. First, it creates the list of the tasks to do it will that it will complete. Then it starts executing each item step by step. It also generating PRD of our project here, you can see. So let's wait for the final output and see what it builds. Two thousand years later, and finally, after writing all the required codes, our to-do project is ready. Here you can see the complete file and the folder structure it generated. Let test it now. I will run the project, and uh, then I will copy the URL and open it in my browser. And here it is, an impressive to-do project with a beautiful UI and modern feature. Let me quickly create an account and login. As you can see, it has a built a pretty polished applications. Let me test task creation. And yes, the task is added successfully. And also let me check whether its other functionalities is working perfectly or not. Now the most important part comes. As this entire to-do project was generated by the Vibe coding, there is a very good chance that it contains hidden box or unexpected issue. So now we are going to run test sprite mcp to fully test it and automatically fix anything that is broken. Test sprite mcp is an AI power testing agent that perform complete front-end or the back-end test without requiring you to write a single test case. We are going to integrate the test sprite mcp into tray. 
So go to the very first link in my description, create an account in it and you will see this interface. Then click on quick install. Then we have to create a new API key. Give it name and copy the key. Now click other IDs. Back in the tray ID, click the plus icon, select MCP. Then click add manually and paste the JSON configurations that you just copied. Replace the placeholder with your actual test sprite API key and click confirm. It will load all the test sprite tools and once the check mark appear, the integration is successful. That's it. Test sprite MCP is now fully connected to our tray environment. Now we are going to run test on our to do application. Switch to the solo coder and then enter the prompt like this. Run a full front end test of this project using test sprite MCP and then hit enter. Tray begins setting everything up with the test sprite tools. A testing configuration window will appear. Here, select your testing type, scope, testing email and password if your application have authentication part and the port your app is currently running on. You also need to upload the product specification doc. In my case, Tray detected and upload it automatically. If not, you can upload the PRD file manually by clicking the upload button and selecting your file. Then I will click on continue. Now test sprite will begin generating all the required files and test cases. Here you can see it has generated 20 test cases and it's testing each one. Let me show you the test sprite dashboard as well. All of the test cases appear here and you can watch them being executed in real time. Let's wait for all test cases to finish and then we will check the results. Here we go. All test cases have been executed successfully. And Test Sprite has generated a full comprehensive test report for our project. In this report, you can see every issue, the failed test cases, and suggested fixes. Let me show you the detailed view in the test sprite dashboard. Most of the test cases have failed. You can ins inspect each one and even watch a video recording of the exact moment the failure happened. Now that we have the detailed prompt, fixing everything has become much easier. So now we let me go to the trade and show you how you can fix all the issues where your test cases is failed. Just go back to the tray and give this prompt, fix all my issues where test cases have failed. And then tray will start analyzing the test sprite report and patching all the bugs and issues across the project automatically. And just like that your project become fully bug free and stable. If you want to automate your entire testing process like this, definitely try out Test Sprite. Right now they are offering the first month completely free for new user who wants to explore the higher tier plans and advanced testing feature. I have added the link in the description, go check it out and make your development workflow much faster, cleaner and reliable. This is it guys, if you face any problems or have any issue, you can join my telegram channel. I have given the link of it in my description box. 
Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe my channel and comment the next topic which you want to see. We'll see you in the next video. Till then keep learning and exploring. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.